haven't yet read the question, please pause the video and do so now. We are asked to find the points on an ellipse where the tangent line has a slope 1. One of the key words in this question is slope. And of course, in calculus, in order to find the slope of a given function, we must compute its derivative. So let's go ahead and write the function and then calculate the derivative. Because this equation is not written as y as a function of x, we're going to have to take the derivative implicitly. So we go term by term and calculate the derivative of each term. So the derivative of x squared with respect to x is quite easy. It's 2x. It's the derivative of the y terms that you need to be careful about when differentiating implicitly. So we'll go ahead and apply the general power rule where we pull the exponent down and multiply by the coefficient. We subtract 1 from the exponent. And then we also multiply by the derivative of y with respect to x. On the other side of the equation, we have a constant. And of course, the derivative of any constant is equal to 0. Next, we'll rearrange this equation and solve for dy dx. And after simplifying the derivative, we obtain the following result. Now the question states that the slope is equal to 1. And so to proceed, we're going to go ahead and set the expression for the slope equal to 1. Next, we can solve this equation either for x or for y. And it turns out that it's probably easier to solve for x. So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2y. And that will allow us to solve the equation for x. The key to the question was to take this expression for x and to plug it in back into the original equation in order to find an actual y coordinate for the points that the question is seeking. So let's go ahead and plug our expression for x into the original equation. If we square the negative 2y and combine like terms, we obtain the following result. And finally, solving for y would obtain the following. You'll notice that once we divide both sides by 6, we'll have y squared equals 1 sixth. And then when you square root both sides of this equation, we have to be sure that we obtain both a plus or minus value for y. Because when you square root a quantity, the answer becomes positive or negative. So here are the two y-coordinates of the points that they're looking for. What we can do is actually simplify them just a little bit and then go back and find the corresponding x-coordinates. So we can write the y-coordinate. If we square root the numerator, we just have 1. The denominator is the square root of 6. And rationalizing the denominator would give us the following result. Now we, act, we know that x is equal to negative 2 multiplied by y. So the x-coordinates will be easy to obtain as well. So let's first plug in the positive y-coordinate, which was positive root 6 over 6. And if we simplify that, we obtain negative root 6 over 3. So when x is negative root 6 over 3, y is positive root 6 over 6. So there's one answer. And to get the other point, we can plug in the negative y-coordinate, which we obtained as negative root 6 over 6, which turns out to be positive root 6 over 3. So when x is positive root 6 over 3, the y is negative root 6 over 6. And there we have the two coordinates where the tangent line has a slope equal to 1.